Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk to you about a first person shooter called Dirty Bomb. Now, I wasn't planning on checking out this game. I saw the trailer for it, I thought it looked like a Team Fortress 2 clone, and I uh, just kind of wrote it off. It didn't look like something that really interests me that much. But there's a few people that really talked it up to me and convinced me to check it out. So I did, and I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised with how much fun this game actually is. I think what turned me off to it initially was the fact that it just had a very cartoony nature to it. And I generally try and keep an open mind with shooters, but there's something about cartoony games that turns me off to them a little bit. I will say Overwatch took a little warming up to, but once I played it, I actually enjoyed it. And I feel the same way about Dirty Bomb. The gameplay is actually really good. The game is an interesting hybrid of genres. It mixes in sort of the fast paced arena shooter gameplay you might find in Unreal Tournament or Quake 3 Arena, and then uh, combines it in an objective-based game mode that you would find in, say, Battlefield or Team Fortress 2. Then it borrows some cool elements from the MOBA genre of games that has kind of mastered the free-to-play model, where Dirty Bomb lets you play as different characters, different classes each week. It kind of switches out your rotations, and as you gain in-game credits, you have the option to buy these characters. You can also just flat out buy them with cash if you want, but it's not too hard to actually save up for your characters in this game, which is something I like. I hate free-to-play games that charge you an arm and a leg of in-game currency just to get a few small items. This one actually lets you get started pretty quickly. And of course, the starting characters are very easy to get into and can definitely hold their own against any of the more advanced characters or harder to play characters. Skyhammer runs the M4 here that you see in this clip, and uh, he's pretty basic. You just shoot people with an M4, you can either hip fire or ADS. The hip fire in this game is incredibly accurate, so you're not really forced to ADS a lot, and you can side strafe very quickly. The gameplay is fast paced as you can see here, so a lot of running and jumping and shooting. You can actually wall jump in this game as well, but if you aim down sights, it will slow down your character a little bit, but also give you slightly better accuracy, which is nice for hitting those extremely long range shots, but not always necessary. The game modes are very small. You can have either a 5v5 or up to an 8v8 if you like, but it does feel much more personal. And every time you take out an enemy, it's actually a fairly big impact on the force of the enemy team. Each character or mercenary, as they're called in this game, serves a pretty specific role. Skyhammer, the character I'm playing with the M4 right here, is sort of a support gunner. He can throw down ammo boxes to resupply your teammates, and he also has a grenade that calls in a artillery strike, which can absolutely decimate people from afar. Then of course you kind of have the standard arsenal that you might find in a MOBA. You've got medic classes, you've got uh, close range classes that have a lot of shotguns or CQB weapons that can move fast. Then there's like tank classes that have a lot of armor, move slowly, have kind of devastating weapons if you stand in front of them for too long. There's some pretty cool variety there with the different mercenaries you can pick from and then each mercenary has a whole different variety of loadouts that you can win and gain from playing the game a lot. You'll open up these cases uh, after you buy them or after you earn them from playing rounds and those will give you different loadouts and different customizations to play each character. So it doesn't just stop with the different types of mercenaries. Each mercenary has multiple play styles. So rather than choosing your path mid-game like you would in a MOBA adapting to the situation as needed, you instead just sort of pick your play style before the round begins. But you can switch between three different mercenaries that you pick from before the game starts. So if you find that your class is not doing as well and it needs more medic support or something like that, you can switch to a medic provided that you picked it as one of your three classes. So that's kind of the basics of the game. And uh, at first, even when reading about it, the description of it, I didn't seem overly impressed because there's already games out there that kind of offer a lot of the same stuff. TF2 is a great example of offering sort of cartoony team based uh, objective gameplay, you know, so why would you switch over to this game? Well, one thing that's really drawn me towards it is uh, just the rawness of the shooter. It kind of has a counter strike field in the sense that uh, there is no like mouse acceleration or mouse smoothing or anything like that. The bullets or projectiles appear to be hit scan, so everything seems to be very precise and very skill based, not to mention the longer time to kill really makes it so that uh, if you get into a one-on-one -on -one fight with another player, you gotta skill it out. It's not just whoever sees the other players 
instantly going to win that firefight. Each player has plenty of opportunity to exchange some fire back and forth. Unless of course you run into a 2v1 firefight where things get a little bit more interesting and that's where the team based gameplay comes into play and a lot of the strategy. You generally don't want to run out by yourself. Like a MOBA you need momentum, you need the help of your teammates to push forward and accomplish objectives. Now the character variety in this game is actually really cool and especially if you're not say the most accurate player or the best twitch reflex players, you can play as something that's more of a support class. Uh, there's classes that throw down turrets and rely on those a lot. There's medic classes that uh, can primarily just heal your teammates. So if that's something that interests you a little bit more of that's where your skills rely more, then you can definitely play that. But if you're an awesome twitch reflex player or you just want to snipe all day, then you can play those classes as well. Now one thing that I wasn't totally in love with at first then definitely strayed from the MOBA way of doing things was how you upgrade your character. You basically get these loadout cards and there's some very rare loadout cards that might take a while to get. So experienced players could have a whole arsenal of really, really good loadout cards to choose from where novice players just won't really have many. Now, in terms of the way it changes up your play style, it's significant but not drastic, but uh, a good loadout card could give your player the ability to reload 20% faster, have faster aiming down sight time, and also the ability to gain more health over the course of the round, whereas a novice player won't have any of those abilities. They're not necessarily game breaking and they do give you a decent advantage, but uh, not a game breaking advantage. At first I was pretty annoyed that uh, you could kind of uh, buy your way into some of these interesting little advantages, but then I found that some of the starting loadout cards that I bought just with in-game currency after playing the game for a few hours were extremely good. You'll notice that the Burst Fire M4 that I'm using right here is extremely good at long range and this was one of the loadout cards I just purchased with in-game currency and uh, it seemed to hold up really well against pretty much anyone that I was playing against. Then again, I was also playing against uh, similarly ranked characters, so there weren't too many people that uh, I was running into that seemed to have all the best gear in the game. So if you really wanted to, you could label this game as a pay to win, but uh, you gotta ask yourself at the end of the day, is a 20% faster reload really going to make a crappier player beat a better player? Probably not. It's gonna give them a little bit of an advantage and if two really good players are going up against each other, then it could possibly be the difference. But ultimately, it's just nice little perks and upgrades to kind of shoot for. And you can get a lot of this stuff with in-game currency. In fact, you should be able to get all of it with in-game currency. It'll just take a lot longer. There's also a 5v5 ranked system, which supposedly will pit you against players of equal or similar skill. So if you're just looking for players who have kind of the same amount of experience and probably a similar amount of upgrades as you do, you can always go in for a ranked game, which tends to be, at least in my experience, a little bit more slow paced and a little bit more methodical, but fun nonetheless. There's also probably gonna be better communication in a ranked game since that is very key. Ultimately though, I gotta say these developers know how to make a good shooter. The gunplay is fun, the map design is spot on. It's not particularly overly detailed, but the layout of the maps is really good, allows for a lot of good strategic gameplay. I did notice a uh, graphical issue I was having where I had a lot of frame stuttering even though it said my frame rate was fine like 90 plus frames most of, the, most of the time while I was gaming. I was still getting this weird frame stutter and I'm not running SLI or anything like that so it was kind of a weird issue but again the game is technically still in beta so hopefully I'll be seeing a fix to that. Other than that I've actually been pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting to enjoy this game that much just because of how cartoony it looked but uh, I really enjoy it a lot. So I definitely would recommend checking out this game. It is free to play on Steam, so you got nothing to lose other than a little bit of hard drive space. And for those of you skeptical of the game just because of its cartoony nature, I'd say give it a try because it's actually a lot more fun than uh, the trailer makes it look. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more Dirty Bomb videos in the future. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing out. <laughs>